Okay, just let me know when you are able to, you know, see the screen. So I'm minimizing the chat box. So hope you're able to see the slides. Slides today, fun fact is that today I have kept the slides very minimal. But a good thing is that we will learn together. Uh, so I hope you had any one uh, AI tool open with you. So at least log into chat uh, GPT. So that will be very helpful. Otherwise, I will be showing. And if you are having any question, unmute yourself, right? And uh, because I'm, I won't be able to see the chat. So let's begin without any delay. So there are a few introductory slides because uh, you know bit of introduction so ai is like everyone is very much familiar to it everyone knows it and it's in all the news by all the right reasons since early 2023 you know since the launch of that your chat gpt and now uh, it is impacting almost every job and companies are also preparing themselves. It's not only, you know, having an impact now in a social media, you know, it's like earlier, um, there is a buzz and discussion in a social media. No, now, now really companies are preparing themselves for uh, to how they can use it. So similarly, we as a, uh, you know, skilled people, uh, intelligent people, we should also prepare ourselves that how we can utilize this technology. So it's, it's again a branch of a computer science only, you know, we are, they are using uh, these statistical tools, machine learnings, so that they generate uh, patterns and so that they are capable of performing the task, which typically which need a human intelligence. So that that is the idea. So basically, and these in software programs in the background, they are training, uh, you know, they are uh, training the machines so that they can perform the task like a humans. Just a simpler example is if I was having a slide, if I can use Copilot. So how many of you have heard Copilot today? So go and go and check in Google. So, you know, we won't deviate from the topic. So it will give you exact script the way I am speaking. Hmm? So just imagine earlier when we are doing uh, going in any meeting, important discussions. Uh, suppose I am going a meeting with DCGI, right? Or FTK. And their meeting minutes are so important. You know, we are presenting, we are discussing, then they are, we used to have one or two dedicated person who are just taking meeting minutes. Now you have a co-pilot. It will give you exact script, but Sarav said, but other person has said, what was discussed, what was the concluded, even it will give you conclusion. So that is how AI is shaping our lives and you just need five minutes to you know just go through it and just to check that is it saying the right way so that is how ai is working and now we have to focus more on medical writing today or you can say scientific writing or simply writing so what i tried how i try to build it a story is i will introduce you to ai tools how they are working where you as a even a student you can take a help maybe you uh, want to write a small article you can take a help maybe you want to write a linkedin post you can take a help maybe you wanted to you're working on your university project you can take help or uh, maybe you are developing some or uh, your research plan you know maybe if you are in a master's program or a phd program so you are working on your research program they are also i will help you say how you can uh, prepare yourself and can take ai tools then in the last part we will discuss in the organizations like the companies how they are using ai tools right how uh, what what differently they are doing so this will be the concept of today's discussion so a medical writing we already you know had multiple sessions you know endless sessions like what is medical writing so it is the field where you need um you know science as well as art art in the sense you have to build your thoughts in a story form science by because 
you have to state a fact you know you can't make it out like in your literature writing it's all in imagination right it's all in uh, um, artistic work but here is that you have to stick to facts if there is an evidence if there is a source then you can write otherwise no but the important is why it is art because you you need to know how to tell a story how to make a sequence that is your job right and how to connect the dots so pharma is adapting ai tools for a medical writing because medical writing is time taking uh, you know process it takes hell lot of time and in a one way we always say they are we are not getting jobs medical writing is such a field that you know any days when hrs calls you that we are unable to find good medical writers because the skill is lacking skill is not there out and second it is like a, a very dedication job of a dedication uh, so what type of tools we are using automating documents like how you can automate the documents that's the one way of looking second is creating a text library mm -hmm. so that now may i request you to put on a mute we are we are listening your talks so put on your yourself on a mute another is text libraries now so you know in medical writing whenever we have uh, studied is that um, in medical writing we have fixed language you know we simply can say that aers uh, a, 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 these many aers were observed right and we have standard definitions so you can build a text library so that you need not to focus how to make a sentence what paragraph you should be drafting how to you know okay uh, how you can and you, you how you will be writing outcome measures how you will be writing introduction uh, introduction session how you will be writing a stat section you just need to change the facts according to the document other next re rest of the text will be you can take it from a library so uh, these are worked by the stat programs or you can say the software programs i will show it to you as well you know so now how in a you know ai where you can take its help how it is helping so if i wanted to divide it i can work uh, you know split it up in five steps and in our coming slides there will be few examples that we all can work together so <clears throat> first it is helping us identifying and analyzing the structure of the words hmm? because we have limitless uh, articles, research paper on the web. So it will be analyzing and giving a structure to all the words. The moment, suppose you you have open, um, you know, any tool, just you are, you are entering clinical research. Tell me, tell me 10, 10 facts on a clinical research. It will give you 10 facts. So if you are just entering the scope of medical writing, so immediately it's learning. It's learning in like, its memory will be having all the research papers and it will be searching that and identifying related words and giving you the answer. Second is very important. It will help you to check at grammar. Suppose you have drafted the introduction. So what earlier we used to do it. I, I still remember when I was in my master program. So we were working on this one small research article. And my, my um, you know, teacher said that just go to another PhD student and just ask them to review your, uh, you know, introduction and literature. So now you don't need that. So whatever the introduction or whatever the piece of work you have done, put it into a, you know, open AI tool and tell, give it the instruction. Please check the grammar of this text. Hmm? It will help you. There are tools also like Grammarly. Now, earlier, Grammarly was working differently. Now, it is having AI assistance. You know, as a student, I can see that you can't have a, uh, you know, what you say, paid resources. But these days, many open resources are available. So, you can immediately put into that and you can check grammar and language, right? Our biggest problem got sorted. 
and arranging the words meaningfully. Uh, what do I mean by this? Sometimes, you know, uh, what happens, we are having a lot of information. But we forget to, you know, sometimes forget also, but uh, when you are going through so much of literature, our mind gets confused and somehow we get to know that it has all the information, but we wanted to arrange it in a systematic order, like one, two, three, four, or like that, right? So that type of instruction also, you can give it to a software, right? So suppose you, you have a literature of review of last 10 years, but it is not in order. Like maybe 2023 20, is at the top, then in between it's 27 is coming, then, uh, you know, there is no order. So if you want to arrange that, take a help of AI tools, and maybe putting it into a right, you know, direct, uh, direction, you know. So uh, sometimes dictionary meaning is not making sense. Uh, so you wanted to translate into right, uh, you know, language. The uh, Suppose in a medical writing or, or other, sometimes you get an article. It's not Engl in English, like maybe in a Spanish. Or you wanted to translate it. You will take a help of uh, AI tools. And it will also help you to, you know, making the sentence. So there are related words and interpretation is missing. Now, this is fantastic, I always say. Fantastic, phenomenal. Why? So, so can you can you read 10 pages in two, three minutes? No, you know. Suppose you have found one very good article, but you don't have a strength to go through mean word by word sentence. Put it into a, uh, any AI tool and give it an instruction. Give me a summary. Give me a 10 lines of this article. Summarize for me. You know, and this way, within a day, you can have a summary of 10 of those articles. Do you, do you remember our old days? We used to, you know, um, highlight the research paper, sometimes taking a printouts and then making sense out of those articles, right? So not only that, you further, we can you can build like, okay, give me a, two more related article to this, like that. So is it clear till now? Is it making sense? Okay. Okay. So it is usable. Can you use it? All these helps. Can you take it from chat GPT at least? Grammarly also, even PubMed has also free, you know, assistance tool. Very nice. I think we are having few positive answers. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So I can move ahead. So now there, there, you know, we will be having few um, examples where I need your help. So as we said that these are all our software applications, you know, you need not to go to machine learning and all that. We are uh, medical writer people. We don't care about, uh, you know, computer science. We just know these are software applications. Biggest example, you have this, which can help to automate and it, it can be your assistance in the writing process. And these tools, they generate one algorithm. You know, they, they basically suppose this tool, you are talking about this tool, ChatGPT. So initially when you used to put, give it any instruction, you used to say that uh, I am having a memory of September 2023, uh, 2022, so my, my answer is limited till that knowledge. So what it is do, using that, what they have done in this is that uh, all the literature, all the, you know, available information that is that was having, they coded in its memory, in chat GPT's memory. So that is existing in this memory. It's just like our brain, you know. So the moment you ask, give it an instruction, Literature review, it will give you answer according to that. If you are giving it instruction, medical writing, it will give answer to that, like that. So all these things will help you into the check grammars, paraphrasing, summarizing, asking specific questions, 
identifying grammar, what we have studied in detail, hmm? spelling mistakes. The best example, how you can start using it. Very easy, very easy. I always tell you that your resume should match your job description. I tell you all the time, thousands of times I'm telling you this same story. Now it's so easy. Hmm? I am always saying that don't send the same CV to everyone, please don't. Because they are using tools. Hmm? If their medical, if their job description has a narrative, they are asking for narrative writing. So they will, that tool will be searching similar word in your CV. Now you can also be smart. Pick that job description, put it into that you are chat GPT or other tool and take two, three sentences that you can put into your CV. Be smart, right? And how, how this work, we have just, you know, I'm giving you a little more uh, uh, detail to this. These software programs, they use these natural language processing uh, technique, basically stack technique, machine learning, and large language models to generate and improve text. Why improve? Because you, you have written by yourself and you can give it an instruction. Please, suppose example, you have a written three paragraph. Hmm. Now your teacher is saying that, no, no, it's too long. We, we need a crux. So you can give an instruction to this tool that please condense this text to one paragraph. Jay, please, uh, please. Is there any question? I can answer a question. I won't mind. But otherwise, put yourself on mute. Okay. These tools are trained to identify the pattern just like your brain you know because we have a memory since our childhood right and now even if someone is asking oh what happened in your class 10 if there is a major incident my brain will be able to identify that immediately right and it can analyze a hell lot of data and these then this tool help these patterns so that they can analyze the data and they can give you answer the way humans are giving, right? And it can also help you to give you more meaningful responses. Different AI tools are, are you know, programmed in different ways. Suppose there was some piece of newspaper, like I will say, there was, say, you are working on some document and somehow you know there, there was a, some WHO, uh, you know, article on a similar research hmm? so you give an instruction to us in otherwise if you are going to google and you are trying to find that article particular article difficult for you go go to this and go, give them give it instruction chances of you finding it are more so now here now we will start our practical work then at the end i will give you the few names of ai tool also you know <clears throat> how we can use so first is interactive learning and feedback the way is you can treat it your teacher you know you ask question then you you know it will give you answer and play around it so chalo, okay first is now whosoever having a open chat gpt with them just put this question in that and send your answer in the chat give me 10 facts about clinical research just enter this simplest question in your AI tool and post your, you know, answer in chat. So I can give you one minute maximum. Are you on it? Okay, okay, okay. I will show you as well.
I am also doing along with you, so don't worry. Okay. So Jyoti has already shared very nice Jyoti. See, it has given you all the keywords, the phrases, sorry, phases. I'm sorry about mispronunciation. Informed consent, a randomization, placebo, blinding, ethical oversight, regulatory approval. Um, okay. Recruitment challenges. So just imagine within seconds, it has given you the result. So let me share again. All right, I have got only one answer, guys. Only Jyoti's has shared. Okay, more people have shared. Very nice. Can someone can someone enter the second question? Scope of medical writing. Just prompt. They give a pro this prompt to the you know. Chat GPT, that scope of medical writing, it will give you instantly the answer. Placebo control. Okay. So now, what else you can do here is suppose, see, I'm just taking this last thing, end point. If trials are designed with, uh, maybe this answer is incomplete. So you wanted to read more about it, then you can give next this as an, uh, a, you know, prompt. So as many as prompt you want to give, you can give. So can we move to next question? So hope you got an idea, right? Very nice. I, I, I am so glad that people are doing it so because we have a limited time let's move to next <clears throat> next is um, so let me keep it like this only so another is generating research question and outlines you know because if you are a master's student if you are a phd student you have to work on your thesis and you are not you may have an idea you know some students are very enthusiastic i know they are always having thousands of research ideas in their mind but it's not that easy to discuss with your you know faculty they are not having time or sometimes you feel that oh if I am having less information, that is also chances that if I'm having less information, my idea will get rejected, right? So what you can do as a smart student, you can prepare yourself. Now, here, I also wanted to link it to your interview. Suppose maybe you are going for some fellowship interview. You know that on which, what project that is, correct? Or if you are going for an interview in some company, do some research. What on what area they are more, you know, active. Are they more working in a vaccine? Are they more active in oncology trial? Try to, you know, search those things in before you going. So generating research questions and outlines. So AI tools can help you to generate potential research questions and even research paper outline. You can simply give it, give me the outline of a research paper on this. And not only that, once you are having outline, you can give it in st further instructions. It's just like, you know, uh, treat it your assistant. Hmm? I suppose uh, your teacher is giving you a work like, okay, find 10 articles on this, on diabetes. See? So you, you brought 10 articles. And then your teacher further gives you instruction, okay, out of 10 articles, uh, this is promising these two are promising find more related article that's all they are doing right do similar mimic that behavior with these uh, you know tools refining these can further refine your work either you can add it or you can uh, you know the output that that it has given so you can make more addition or deletion to that and can ask it more questions so now your next problem question is 
Hmm. So de develop three possible research questions on following topics. If you have topic, you can also give it an instruction. The influence of AI on drug development timelines. Because why I have given you timelines? You know, timeline because we are always saying that clinical research is time-taking process. So now let's see what three type, you know, three main research outputs it is giving to us. So let's do it together. Are you doing it? See, in between my network has stopped, so it has given me the instructions because I, I stopped the output. So let's give it again. Just give it instruction, develop three research questions on the influence of AI on drug development. So now these days it gives you the references also. Do this and post your answers. So now I will be looking forward to your answers. We will speak about plagiarism. Abhishek. Thank you. I started getting answers. Okay. So now, you know, uh, my idea was, uh, uh, you know, Pratiba has uh, given me here ideas. Uh, so these are the research question this AI tool has generated it. Now, it is your job to make sense. Hmm? Many a times, students ask that it may take our all the jobs. If AI is so much of capable, it may take our all jobs. Hmm? But here is the human intervention needed that you have to analyze that is it worth or not. Hmm? So it is, uh, this AI tools are there to help you, assist you basically, we don't say in organization, we don't say that artificial intelligence, use of artificial intelligence. We don't say this. We say that AI assistance because it is assisting us. Now, Abhishek has asked about plagiarism. Now, you have got an idea. Now, it's your job to find, you know, to match it to the actual literature, finding the right reference. And if you have to modify the text, you have to. You can't copy paste. So it can help you, but it can't replace you. Okay, so let's next move to the next. Now the paraphrasing. So I have I have some text for you. So you uh, AI tools like these and free other free, free paraphrasing tools can help you to paraphrase. So let's study it first. Then we will give you the problem question. So uh, suppose maybe. Uh, you have already written. So that writing, uh, definitely you have to do, right? So you, you have written two, three paragraphs. Now you are not that happy with it. Hmm? Maybe uh, they are, your ideas are confused. Might be there is a repetition. Sometimes you have seen that you're not able to find the right word choice, correct? And maybe you are not able to maintain the consistency that's also a big thing uh, you know you are not tone your tone is not that consistent somewhere you are passive somewhere you are active somewhere you are past sometimes you are writing in the present all that right so they can also help you to you know incorporate the literature scholarly articles those are available you know so that your article can your writing can be more concise and but what is important is to cite the all so resources in a correct way. So now if we, we wanted to give it some instructions, so I'm having this protocol template with me, you know. So if I wanted to see, see, this is the first text. I am just copy pasting it. I can give it to you also. So 
you can try to rephrase it. You can use your AI tools if you don't have some text. So you can give your own instructions. So what I am inst giving my, uh, you know, assistant as instruction, please, uh, you know, split this paragraph to two paragraphs. So what I am giving it instruction, give for split this one paragraph to two paragraphs. So just trying to see what it is giving. All right, so let's see how many students are doing this. And this is already written in a very good way. So this, so let's see what, and you can also, uh, you know, give further instructions like expand it or you can give someone can give it an instruction please uh, make it concise because already five six lines you can give it an instruction please summarize it in two uh, you know make it make a paragraph of only two lines any instruction whatever is coming in your mind okay so then or someone can give an instruction please simplify it so the options, what I'm trying to tell you with these practical examples are that options are endless, right? Okay, let me see what my mind has done. It's not generated yet. Oh. Ha, no, no, it has generated. See, it has, it has divided it into now two paragraphs and even simplified it. So I can further give it an instruction that, see, so paragraphing, see. So now, now I'm giving it the instruction, make it a simple sentence structure. Okay, let me see. Yeah, someone asked for somebody. Very nice. Okay, let's see. See, now see, I have given it two paragraphs and I given a prompt is to for a simple sim sentence structure. So it has said that the schedule of activities must record all procedure for each study visit and every contact with participants such as telephone calls. So it has simplified it. So uh okay are you able to see the slides guys once again okay okay so is this helpful anyone is this helpful i am so glad to see the answer, you know answers thank you so much so i I, in the morning, I was just thinking like how to make this session more practical, more useful so that you can use right away. So that was my intention. So I spent almost two hours in the morning to plan it like, okay, this is what we can do, you know. Okay, next is summarize text. I don't have such any article as of now that which I can give it to to summarize. But anyways, we can we will do something. Don't worry. So AI tool can help you to condense the text. Even you can give it so two three pages and can give it a prompt and give me one sentence out of it. Sometimes guys, you have to give a title to some uh, piece of paper or you 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 are like. Now very much worried what title I should be giving. Take a help of it. And sometime you are working on a conclusion. Hmm? Maybe you are going for some conference, you are working on some paper and you want to summarize it. Then AI tools can help you there. And not only that, you have three, four scientific papers and now you don't have energy and strength and in fact time. To understand the complex information, sometimes, you know, if you talk about clinical research, and something things are so difficult, it's like it's going, going over my head. 
put that article piece of paper in this, uh, you know, chat um, GPT and other AI tool and tell that, give me the summary in two, three lines. And now see, such a big help for you, you know. It helped you to, you know, summarize the central arc to it and clarify your research question and form the conclusions. Uh, you can also do uh, this by using generative AI tools or more specialized tools. You know, there are paid tools also. Definitely, I won't deny they are more efficient. That's they are. But for you, you know, as of now, using these free tools is very important. And, you know, it's not only as a student, it is going to help you student. It's even when you are in job. All the companies, they are having their own AI tools because they don't want to use, uh, you know, these freely available uh, tools because that will leak the information, but they are having their own tools. But if you know how to use that tool, you can do so much because you wanted to write an email. Hmm? You, you know, this is important email and here you are, you don't have a time to so immediately give it few sentences and ask it like uh, organize in this order. Right. Uh, maybe the tone should be more, uh, you know, um, positive or, uh, you know, inclusive or whatever the instruction you want to give. So now for this, what uh, summarized text, what I can give you is. Um, let me see if I can find some little difficult test. Uh, known potential risk. Shall I give it to Hmm, this will be the good example. Now you can uh, give a prompt to your. Uh, yes, yes, it can make mistakes. You can't rely on 100%. It can help you, but you have to see, uh, review it. Why it is not going? Okay, it's too much text. Okay, all right. Let me see. Let me. I will. Only one word is it. So this I can send you in a next. So give an instruction to summarize this in two three sentences. So let's see this if it is summarize it. So how you have to do is, that's why I'm emphasizing on the fact that you can't directly copy paste. You have to read it. You have to make the changes as well, right? But you are... Um... So like this, I'm giving instruction. Review you have to do. You know, just your boss is your assistant. You have to think in this line. Your boss, it is your assistant. So you have to review whatever it's doing. Okay, 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 very nice, very nice. Okay, see, it has summarized. You give it further uh, instruction. Okay, discuss. Very nice. People are participating, I'm liking it. Mm. See, different people are getting different answers. It is all because what prompt you are giving this is machine whatever the instruction you are giving it will give you the answer and the best part what is the best part you are getting few references and out of this these references are quite reliable like nih very reliable fta super reliable you know slide share i won't rely that much on that because someone has shared their slides right unless there are references attached to FDA got again clinical research this they have you see it is so smart it has extracted step three 
if you go to FDA website, they have, uh, you know, summarized clinical research, step one, step two, three, four, five steps they have. See, it has extracted step three. So again, slide share, except, except this slide share thing, these all of the rest of the references, they are exceptionally good. So this is how you can do. See, it has again condensed it for me, right? So now even you can, suppose you are in hurry, you want to present slides, you know, make five slides from this text. Let's see what it is doing for us. It will take a bit of time, but let's say understanding a question. If, it, if even you are not happy with the answer, you can further, you know, change it. So let's see, meanwhile, what others have shared. Very well. Okay. Good. But I have seen only few people are participating. We have uh, 193, um, you know, participants. But anyways, only few are participating. This is like, you know, unless you are not getting hands on it, you won't feel the taste of it. You won't be master it. See, it is. it has started giving me the answer. It has already given a slide one introduction to risk discussion. Title, this I can give in a title content. It's generating, you know. So see, now you can be very smart. Smart in the sense, how you can stand out of focus you know crowd suppose you got a maybe clinical research coordinator job you know and maybe you are some senior has given you some work and they said like we will be discussing with the help of this team make one two slides hmm? because it is not taking a lot of time in normal uh, world in a regular world we it is taking us a lot of time to make the slides you know this are all ideas i am giving you to, to you right that how you can Place yourself very well at your workplace, at your, you know, you know, college and uni days, anywhere. You can take it some advantage. See, so this is how it can help. See, some girl has already done this work. Very nice. So proud on you. Mm. Soumya has done. Some other one has done. Very nice. So let's move to next our problem question, right? Hmm. Next is what? where it can help you uh, proofreading hmm? you wanted to see that the, is there any spell errors grammar grammar and punctuation because we are see we are science people no? we are not taught in college and universities uh, to master the grammar we are not art student art student they know all grammar and everything because it's their main field our main field is science right but in the same time, our article won't get accepted unless, uh, you know, it is not in a good shape, right? Uh, so you can take help of this. Even you are seeing all the time people are saying it should be a, uh, you know, spell error free, blah, blah, blah. Put put your art, uh, you know, resume in chat GPT and, but only thing, personal information, take it out. Like your DOB, your uh, email ID, you know, so that it should not that you should should be smart enough that if there is some personal information, try not to put it out there. So, uh, so avoid that. Otherwise, take help of these. These tool tool help you to you know uh, improve the clarity of your writing, and they will help you to avoid do common mistakes. Mm -hmm. So uh, while using AI tools and these, you you know it will give you you know potential good suggestions sometimes mistakes are very obvious you know errors happens but we miss them they help us to identify so i don't have text someone have a text if uh, you can give it let's see let's we have a template right let's see if that having any uh any sort of Mistakes. I guess objective session might be having studies. Try in this 
guys try this text give give your chat gpt prompt that identify grammar and spelling errors in this text let's see if it is identifying i am i'm doing few mistakes let me see let me see if it is identifying Let's see. Let's test this. Let's test this. Let me test it. Okay, I'm waiting for your answers, so I'm not doing it. Now, let's see. I'm relying on you guys. I think this proof read is the last. After this, we are going to, a, you know. Commercial writing or you can say regular writing. I'm just waiting for answers. Very nice. See how smart it is. Correction made, change, give and provide. Oh, yeah, little bit it will change. Yes, yes. Characteristics, yes. Time points, yes. See. See, I changed verb. It changed immediately. It identified. Hmm. Very nice, guys. Have you seen the its power, right? So, all good. Correct, correct. Hmm. Okay, let's progress to our next slide. Let me put it again to slideshow. Uh, these are the few tools that I, I believe that you already knowing, but still I thought, you know, uh, you, you can take in an idea. So, it's not three now. It's so it will take i don't know how much we have progressed so then science note it is available you can use pubmed very good example pubmed is uh, you know assistant you can use snip mode it's very good best option for grammar paragraphing for the beginners it has a paid version also but we don't need right free there are a lot many free uh, options available as a student, as a researcher, you need not to buy any, you know, open AI source uh, unless, you know, you have some um, funds available with you. Uh, then these are few uh, examples of auto write, even Grammarly, they have a paid version. Uh, Quillbot, this is also very good for uh, paragraphing. Watson Health, they are also having uh, their paid version. These are all commercial, which you don't need the open sources even scribble one is scribble something like that they are that is also they are open source okay so more important is keep an eye on uh, all the sources available best is master one and two that's more than enough you need not to know 10 15 you know open ai sources two three you know enough that's all now coming to regulatory writing you know, regulatory writing or you can say that writing that you are doing in a commercially that you are protocol or what you say that, um, you know, um, uh, what you say that CSR sometimes for narratives and informed consent form, all these piece of papers. Hmm? So the, the idea is same. You know, they help us to understand the comp complex grammar, context, even feelings what you have expre expressed, you know. Of course, they can't, you know, mm, uh, you know, do the job 100%, but pretty much they can be do the job 80 to, you know, 85%. So now, mm, I think there's some issue with this. I will go to this. 
Okay, so now what tools we are using in, you know, uh, regulatory medical writing, all these protocols, CSR, narrative writing, uh, even um, patient-centric documents, how these tools are helping us. Good thing in a medic a regulatory writing is that um, you already have a very defined templates like GCP template. Even in our uh, trainings, internship, we have learned uh, how protocol are draft is drafted, how informed consent is drafted. But how companies in companies, in suppose you are working in a new artist, you are working in LLE, you are working in some other organization, maybe IQVR, PPT. There you can't use ChatGPT. Even you are, uh, you are not allowed, system will block it. Then what you will do? Hmm? They are having their own AI tools. Their working principle is almost similar that you have done this recent exercise. Working principle is same. What, what is different? There is a control in a research. Hmm? that their data won't get leaked. So that, that means you should know how to use these AI tools. They work on similar principles, but they are controlled version. So now, suppose you are working on a protocol. They have already built text library. How? Huh. Suppose you are working on a protocol. You wanted to write a protocol on, say, lung cancer or you say vaccine. So you will give it a, like you're saying that out, outcome measures of phase one vaccine protocol. It will show you all the list. Or you will be giving it instructions, standard language for, you know, uh, eligibility section in a protocol. It will give you the language. Right, that is how because they have built a library of text with one prompt, one instruction it will be in front of you. Or the, we are having organized literature. So you are saying that give me very recent article on RNA vaccine development program, something like that. You know, it will give you that. And you know, in the office. The smart people, they can be one step ahead. You maybe have a meeting. You know that we are, we are going to discuss one protocol. Read about it. A reading from Google is so difficult. Giving, give it in instructions. Give me answer to this question. Give me answer to that question. Now we are also having a collaborative tools. What is this collaborative tools? Now, suppose this is, I have just imagined this slide I have opened. How about all of 190 people we are able to edit this simultaneously? It will be all together different thing. So that is collaborative or tools. So you are working in a Word document. Hmm? You are working in a Word document and suppose you are in your team, five people are there. You are working in outcome as well. someone is working in a section, other statistician is working in a stat section because the responsibilities are divided. So all of you are multiple users. They are editing it, document simultaneously. And there are is data visualizations like graphs, you know, infographics that medical writers use to interpret the complex information so that they can get an idea it, suppose there is a very difficult table of a stat. It, because we are not statisticians, so that we need not to understand each and everything. But these tools and visualization tools, they will help us. Now, if you wanted to understand the uh, you know, AI use in a medical writing, it started back in 2017 and 18. In 2018, I worked in auto-generative networks. It was not 100% at that time, but 50% of the writing work was we were getting with the help of some tool. Now, question comes, it, do it has replaced a medical writers? No. So AI was, someone asked me that, uh, how about plagiarism? Uh, some girl has, I guess, uh, uh, asked the right question. Uh, it can also do the mistakes. Yes. That's why we used to review that piece of paper. 
right? So human intervention is always needed. But the only thing people will be who will be more, uh, you know, uh, willing to work on AI tools, their future will be more brighter. Now, if you have a patient centric writing, this is new. This is something new coming in. Now, all these scientific papers, they are so complex, placebo, randomized. You know, we science people can understand. Can patient understand? No. They won't be able to understand it. Hmm? So now what the regulatory bodies are asking, they are asking that you have to write these, uh, you know, scientific uh, writing in a lay language, lay language that your neighbor can understand like that. Just imagine that. So there you have a tool. You want to post a summary of your protocol in a lay language. You can post. I, I can show you one example also. Say how it works. Discord. Suppose we have this text. Hmm? Saying that. Let's see. Let's test this. Let's go here. This text so simple. See, now it will give you some, here it has said that primary and secondary, this is our main text, primary and secondary endpoints should be adjusted for multiplicity. Hmm? If claim is solved for secondary outcome as a statistical plan for adjustment for multiplicity should be aligned with these objectives. It's purely a scientific language, right? So what instruction I have given that common person should be able to understand. So you will be able to see a few very simple words like goal, objectives. When a clinical trial have a several goals, see, you know, because outcomes, other name is goals. Right? The result need to be adjusted to make sure findings are reliable. See the words that we are using in every day. This is, this is known as a adjusting for a multiplicity. So primary, that is, it has even further clarified, it is primary is main goal, secondary means additional goal. But here we were saying that uh, claims out for, um, if the claim is out for secondary outcomes, statistical plan adjustment, blah, 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 right? So it has simplified the things where, and if you are further feeling that some sentence, some, uh, you know, uh, say word is complex again you can further ask it give it instruction for, to simplify it so that's how it works back to our slides okay so now another inner research what is happening so the way i have given you example now another requirement in uh, you know that's why i'm working in a transparency like ema policy european union other health canada they are saying that once your research is over you also have to share uh, the result of your research but same time but a gcp is saying that confidentiality should be maintained. So if there is a sensitive data, if there is any information which is revealing the identity of patient, you will black it up. And who is helping us here? AI tools are helping. Can you, can you, you know, can you imagine human effort to do this 3000 page document, 4000 page document, how much time it will take us, you know, to uh, redact all this information. But if you are having tools, it will help immediately. Even there are some sensitive questions like related to, you know, women, pregnancy, mental health, substance abuse. You know, you wanted to avoid them to go to public. So that's how you are taking help of AI tools. This is already happening. This is already happening. Okay, I guess we are, uh, huh, we are in the last slides. We can take the questions. I can stop share for a while. I hope guys, this session helped you in your day to day, you know, 
writing my goal was that only but of course if you need additional information i am more than happy to share with you that um, let me see if i can share something for you in fact i guess india has uh, guidelines also uh, md also have a guidelines uh, how to use ai so we indians have this guideline i think icmr has issued these guidelines okay and i am very happy that you participated because um uh, you know it all changes uh, the experience so uh, ai you know so when uh, plagiarism is that when you have taken help of uh, you know you are these uh, tools to write something you have to manually review it so and there are also tools also i have never used because in a professional world we need not to use them uh, you can take uh, help of a uh, plagiarism tools also you can find like they help you to identify that if there is any plagiarism or not you can reduce a plagiarism when you are citing a right reference the only game is of a, citing a right reference hmm? so. so proofreading the reference reference of course in the original writing you must have added reference right so you are simply giving it instruction to proofread. Proofread is just to identify grammatical mistakes, sentence structure, you know, so that for that you don't need additional references, but your original references, I believe they should be there. Uh, see, if you are copy pasting everything, then definitely it will detect. Definitely. So what you have to do is idea. You have taken a summary. Give it your own version. Little work you can do. You can't rely it on 100%. You can rely it like, okay, you know, um, AI has search limit. No, free tools don't have that limit. You know. Uh, ICMR guidelines, let me see if I'm having, just give me a minute. So, I can share it with Samridhi, will that work? Uh, I do have, I have to search in my computer, honestly saying. I have to search it in my computer. So, I can't share it with Samridhi, she will be able to share it with you. FDA also have uh, some, you know, FDA, maybe I'm having... Oh, just wait. I'm having the... Now you can test, do one thing else uh, also, guys. Ask your AI. Let me ask it. Hmm? ICM, ICMR guidelines on AI. I have taught you Oh, you can immediately, it will give you some link. So I have a downloaded version as well, but not sure where it is. Okay, so I will send you the guidelines. So don't worry. So if you are unable to find, it was like more on ethical perspective at that time that, you know, how you can use it. Uh, 
I will share it with you. So, Okay, guys, then uh, we can close, right? If there is no, yeah, yeah, I will, I will give it to Simriti. She will uh, be sharing, I will be sharing with her a downloaded link, uh, downloaded version. Okay. So, thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye bye. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Happy learning, you know. Most welcome. Thank you.